In this video, I want to show you how to quickly edit templates in Filmora. So Filmora does offer a bunch of pre-made templates that you can edit as and change the text, change the images, change things that are within that template. Now, if you have your Filmora open, you want to go over to uh, the templates uh, button here. So click on that and it is, it is going to be the last one here. Click on that and there we go. Now we have a lot of templates here. So if you if this is closed, just go to the last folder here on the left hand side and I click the drop down. You're going to see that there is a lot of templates you can use here. Now I'm going to go ahead and click a cinematic. All right, this is going to show you all the templates here that are cinematic. And on the top here, you have your aspect ratio. So these are kind of like filters that you can use uh, to filter through uh, these templates without having to download all of these and look for, you know, something specific. So if I click the drop down on aspect ratio, uh, I'm going to go ahead and select uh, something that is landscape. Okay. Now, the second part is going to be the duration, right? As you can see, we have no, no limit selected here as a default. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and select that. It doesn't really matter. But if you're looking for something that is specifically, uh, you know, 10 to 15 seconds or 15 to 30 seconds, this is going to be the way to do it. I'm going to go ahead and click no limit. Uh, now, this is going to give you all the options here that you selected. Now, to download the template, you want to go ahead and click uh, this. Uh, uh, let's see. You can scroll down. Let's find something really nice here. Right? Let's say we wanted to use uh, this one over here. You can click this download button here, which is this downward arrow. Click on that. Now, this is going to start downloading your template, and it's going to take however long it takes, depending on how big uh, the template is. As you can see, it already started playing here. Now, what I'm going to do to add this template to the timeline is I'm going to go ahead and click uh, this plus button here. So click on that. There you go. Now, this is going to add uh, the template to the timeline. And as you can see here, this is a huge compound clip, right? Let me go ahead and uh, mute the audio here just so that um, oh, we're not going to play it so we don't get copyright strikes. Now, this is good. This is a huge uh, uh, compound clip. Now to open up to see the the things that make up this template is you can click uh, this button here where it says uh, click to replace material. So double click on this and this is going to pop up. Now this is going to be where you are going to be able to replace things. So on the first uh, tab here, this is going to be the media section, right? This is where you can import a bunch of uh, videos, images. Uh, you can import audio files in here that you can apply onto the templates. You can see here, this is, uh, you know, where you can add things here. So you can do that and add a bunch of things on here. So at that, this is all going to be added here to the template, right? Let me go ahead and remove this over here. All right. Now, the second part is going to be the stock media, right? This is where you're going to be able to pull things from uh, the stock media section. And lastly, you have uh, the text here. Now, the text is going to be what is on the screen. So if I let's move this to about right here, you can see that this is going to be the different sections where you have uh, the text here on the screen. All right. So if you go to stock media, you can see, um, you know, what you have on here, you can go to media, you want to have on here, this is your text here, and right? you can change uh, the text from here, right, this is where you're going to see it, change all the text here, pretty cool stuff here. Now, what I like doing is, you know, this is just a quick way of doing it, but one of the best ways to do it is to actually expand the template, go ahead and expand, and uh, this is going to show you the different things that were used to create this template, it's essentially undoing the compound clip. Now, if there are paid effects that are that were used to build this template, it's going to give you this uh, box here where it's going to tell you that you're using a paid effect for Filmora. Uh, you can get a seven day trial for Filmora Creative Assets, blah, 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 all of that stuff. Right. So it's going to it's t essentially telling you that some of these are you know, paid for. So you might need when you export this, you might get a watermark or it's not going to let you export it. So I'm going to go ahead and hit back to edit because I'm not trying to purchase uh, those. Back to edit, it's going to let you edit this with the paid uh, with the paid uh, uh, different effects here, right? Now, you can see exactly how this is built. On the top, we have our, uh, I think on the top, we have our main uh, background here. You can see that this is it over here. And we also have, so if I close this out, you're going to see that, we'll, you know, it kind of like goes away on the screen here. It's giving it a little bit of a background. So if I kind of like hide this you can see all the different uh things that were used to create this right if i hide this 
and you can mute uh, the song here let me mute the song just because i don't want to get copy i don't get a copyright strike All right so this is what was used so now the cool thing you do is you can actually replace these things right so if you want something else let's go to our stock media here and let's say i wanted to add uh maybe instead of uh, this uh background here that's on the top let's say i want to add uh this let's go ahead and add a new track here add a video track on the top let's say i want to add something like let's go over to our partners let's go to pixels i want to put um let's say a uh, city right let's download something really awesome here all right so let's say we want to use uh this here this image over here right here actually right here i'm gonna click drag and drop this on the timeline uh, let's just go ahead and keep project settings, right? And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and let's say, uh, let's, uh, let me go ahead and cut this to match this like that, delete that. And I'm going to delete this one here so we can have this one replaced and I'll delete empty tracks, right? So now we kind of like have a different, um, a different, uh, uh, background here. Now let's double click on this. I'm going to go ahead and go to and lower the opacity of this. Okay. So if we go over to our transform, let's scroll down, compositing here, and I'm gonna lower the opacity. You can see that we get the same effect here that we had before, right? Now, except now we have a city in the background. Now, now for these credits here, you can obviously replace these with a bunch of free ones that you can find uh, in, you know, somewhere in Filmora. So if you go over to, uh, let's click on that, if you go over to your titles, and then you go over to, uh, let's say, where is it at? Uh, we can just search here, right? Credits. Credits roll. Now, these are, you can find, you know, the ones that are paid, the ones with the little diamond here are going to be paid for, uh, or the ones that you need to pay for, and you'll say have free ones. What I like to do is click this filter here, click free, right? Give it a second. It's going to give you all the free ones so you can replace the paid ones with the free ones, okay? Now that is pretty much it. Uh, it's pretty simple. You know, some template templates are not going to have anything that you need to pay for. Some will, but you do have the option to customize all of these things and you can find them for free or within Filmora. Now that is pretty much it for this video. Let me know if you guys have any questions or want to see more videos on how you can customize these templates. But I uh, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.